Yes, sir. It's your boy Terrence Carter, better known as TC Talk, TC Fitness. Yes, sir. I'm here, back at it again. I'm here with another video. In today's video, I want to do two things, right? The first thing is I want to share with y'all my vision board that I had made like a couple months ago, back in uh, 2022. And then I also want to share um, one of my writings that I made earlier today. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to write. And um, I started thinking back on um, how semen retention has, you know, how it's changed me. I started thinking back on who I used to be when I was addicted to watching that negative pornography. And when I was addicted to releasing my seed, you know what I'm saying? And I titled it, The Kid Who Lost Himself But Found Himself Again. Now I'm a grown man, you know what I'm saying? But I always connect with my inner child. And I'm not about to be one of them adults that's just grumpy and angry at the world or that never really connect with their inner child. So you don't want to be leaving your inner child out. Now, shout out to everybody that's on this semen retention and no fat journey. I hope you guys are putting in the work, staying far away from pornography, really elevate, elevating and helping yourself mentally, spiritually, and continuing to get outside the comfort zone. Now, let me show y'all the vision board. Now, this vision board here I made a while ago. And a lot of these things on my vision board, I do plan on bringing to life. Now, as y'all can see, there's a lot of different things written on here. You see the word obsession. You see 9,824 hours, you see boss, you see a lot of different things. And me, I'm very big on like manifestation or bringing things to life, especially being on semen retention and learning about just how it feels to really like cultivate your sexual energy into your goals and into yourself and uh, keep on pouring into yourself. And um. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand this, right? When you wanna bring something into your reality, you gotta feel it first, internally. And you gotta put forth the action. You can't think that you, you gonna have something just handed to you in life, bro. It, it don't work like that. And um, I am, I am very, very like thankful and grateful to have the drive, the ambition, the hunger to get what it is that I want and the mentality because there's still people out there in the world that believe that they can't get what it is that they want. But um, let's talk about the vision board. So one thing that comes to mind is uh, this, this, um, Writing by Martin Luther King that says something is happening in our world. The masses of people are rising up and wherever they are assembled today, the cry is always the same. We want to be free. Some of us or some people in this reality don't feel free. Me, I tell you all the time, man, you got to free yourself. You got to free yourself mentally from self-sabotaging, thinking about the past, worrying about the future so much, not living so much in the present. Um, you have to free yourself from addiction, especially porn addiction and um, masturbation. You got to free yourself from that. I'm not even going to front. And you got to learn how to, you know, like put the pieces back together and uplift your spirit some more. Also, I have here, as y'all seen, in the spirit, let the healing begin. You've come a long way. Celebrate. 
Sometimes we don't realize how far we've come because we start to focus on where we have to go. Instead of being present and saying where I am right now is where I need to be. How many things have you prayed for and asked for from the Most High God? You prayed and you asked, you prayed and you asked, and it, it came to you. You've gotten it. And then, after a while, you want something else. I don't think things work like that. I think you got to really be grateful for what you do have and just, just realize how far you've come. You know what I'm saying? Another thing right down here is don't crack under pressure. Don't crack under pressure, bro. Pressure makes diamonds. Success is more than knowing how, it's knowing when. It's knowing when, bro. That's big. That's that that's in. And then um where am I going? Will I get there from here? How can I make the most of my abilities? And I make sure that I tap into my abilities every single day because you gotta you gotta learn how to trust in your abilities. You have to learn how to trust, you know, yourself. Now the kid who lost himself and found himself again. Now this is me thinking about the younger me, the younger Terrence. It, it's it's so real, bro. Like I was able to. To let those closest to me, like, know, like, yo, bro, I, I was addicted to porn when I was younger. I was addicted to this and the third. And for them not to judge me, but understand, like, damn, bro, like, for anybody that's addicted to porn, you can break the addiction. Now, me, the reason why I, I titled it The Kid Who Lost Himself is because I, the version of me now, semen retention and no fap and having energy and, and not being so addicted to to chasing women and chasing my pleasures. The version of me now is is more happy. I'm more content with myself. I'm more focused. And that's why I quit, but found himself again. Because seeing real attention helped me find myself. Porn makes you disconnected to yourself and disconnected from humanity. But on retention and no fab, you literally becoming more connected with yourself and connected to the source. Now I wrote down, lost himself in the past, living at a low vibration, using PMO as a way to cope. Until I discovered semen retention, that right there was the game changer. My perspective on life changed forever on semen retention. Energy is everything. And your life force energy is on your team. I learned to get a way better understanding on life. Grounding, being more present, and pouring into my cup so that I'm not leaving myself empty. I also wrote down that God is amazing and truly will help you on this journey one day at a time. Life on semen retention is a journey. It is a beautiful experience where you learn more about yourself and where you learn more about life and more about yourself. Excuse me. Self accountability is something. That's big on this journey because sometimes we put the blame on others instead of ourselves. And this is one thing that I am constantly learning is to be more accountable. Hold yourself more accountable. I can't blame others for how they feel about me or opinions that they will have about me. I can't, I can't do that. I have to continue to put all of the accountability on myself. How somebody feels about me is their opinion. How I feel about myself is the most important thing. Um, I so said we, we uh, sometimes we put the blame on others instead of ourselves. If you want better for yourself, figure out the root to the problem. Now there's always gonna be problems in life, but we all have the solution because it's always within us. Don't fear the unknown because that may hold you back. You ever, like you can't, you can't fear the unknown. You ever went through a situation and you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, I didn't, like, you just, that's why you got to constantly live in the now. You feel me? 
Don't fear the unknown because that may hold you back. The point of semen retention and no fap is to set yourself free. Break, break, break. Break out of this matrix construct. It plays tricks on your mind. They want to get you mentally. They want to play tricks on you. That's why people are constantly consumed by the news. You watch the news, you start living in fear. You feel me? You, you're, you're watching rap music, you probably get more aggressive and want to fight and all that stuff, right? Like, there's a lot of things that play tricks on your mind, bro, but you have to learn how to... Like, you got to understand this, right? When it comes down to your thoughts, like, they're not all your thoughts. They, they, they're not. They're not. You feel me? That's just facts. But you're the observer of your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Remember, your spirit, your soul. This is your this is your, your avatar. But your soul. So whether you have a negative thought or a positive thought, you are the observer of it. Now, this is why mental strength and spiritual strength is key. Because the matrix wants to break you down mentally and spiritually. The matrix wants you to follow everybody instead of thinking for yourself. Wants you to live in fear, worry, worry about opinions, worry about, well, this person like me, people pleasing. That's not it. You got to please yourself. Those that like you will embrace you for you naturally. You don't have to, you don't have to have all of the latest clothing in this car. And these people that, that, that embrace you, they will embrace you naturally, bro. The ego wants to be liked by everybody. Your spirit, your soul is unlimited. And they don't care to be liked by everybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, this is why mental strength and spiritual strength is key. Be confident. Get to know yourself. Take yourself out to eat. Get out and live life because time waits for no one. Get out and live life because time waits for no one. All right? Gotta be confident. Confidence is key. Confidence is how you really build that, that self relationship with yourself, that self healing, that self love. There's nothing wrong with confidence. You're supposed to be a confident person, a confident individual. Getting to know yourself is when you're in solitude, when you're by yourself, when you're not around a whole bunch of other people that's, that you're probably getting like, you should do this with your life or you should do that. No, do what makes you happy and fulfilled because it is, it's your life, right? Get to know you. You feel me? Tap in on your soul. Meditate. I've been meditating the past couple of days and it's been feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Keep on retaining your seed. Get to see like how far discipline really takes you. Get to see how you feel when your brain is constantly rewiring and reprogramming itself and you're you're naturally healing your brain. You're naturally healing from your past traumas. Even though it's not gonna be a perfect experience, it's not gonna be a perfect journey. You know, healing is never ending, but you're doing the work. And then um, like I said, man, take yourself out to eat. A lot of people be afraid to go out. To eat by themselves. I took myself out to eat earlier today while I was doing Uber Eats. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just be little things like that that help you build a relationship with yourself. And you just start thinking, like, why are people afraid to do these things? What's the point? Why does, like, social anxiety exist? Why does depression and all that stuff exist? I feel like if, you, if you're more, like, grateful for life, if you're more grateful for the the present, if you start paying attention to what you do have and you got a roof over your head, you got clothes in your back, you got a job, you got money in your bank account, you got food in your stomach, you, you just got to be a little bit more happier. You feel me? Like, real talk, bro. I, I literally, just the other day, bro, on my way home, I'm like, I'm hungry. And I'm walking downstairs to the train and I see a man digging in the garbage, bro. And I sat there and I prayed, bro. I ain't no friend. Like, I stood by myself waiting for the train. And I'm like, yo, damn, like, I really pray for people. I really pray for people, for real. Because there's somebody that's always going through some, that's something that's way more tougher than what you're going through. Somebody out there that don't have no money, that don't have no job, no clothes on their back. 
no sneakers. You feel me? Like things like that. No roof over their head. So you gotta always be grateful for what you do have. Not even gonna front. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Cause that was just like something that I wrote down. And I'm like, yeah, I wanna share this with the channel. I wanna start expressing, you know, more of my ratings and just what I be thinking about being on Seamer Intention in OFAC. Like I'm really discovering a better version of me and a way more like focused, confident, abundant thinking man. You feel me? Like I'm really building myself up to be the best person that I can be, no matter what flaws or weaknesses I may have, because at the end of the day, I can always fix those and turn those into strengths. You feel me? And then my strengths just keep getting stronger. Like I love talking to y'all, real talk. I love like putting that energy out there. But if y'all enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I'm gonna show y'all the vision board before I end this. This video right here, man. And one day in life, bro, just know. 9,824 hours. Just know, bro. It's gonna happen. You feel me? It's gonna happen, man. You gotta think big. Real talk. Like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy, Terrence Carter. We out here.